Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa patronized the ceremony of Martyrs Day, which was held at Sakhir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa upon the arrival of His Majesty's parade. He was received by the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, National Guard Commander Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The ceremony was attended by senior officials in the kingdom. His Majesty the King then headed to the podium and the national anthem was played. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. Following a recitation from verses from the Holy Quran, one shot was fired, followed by a minute of silence. ولا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله أمواتا. بل أحياء عند ربهم يرزقون فرحين بما آتاهم الله من فضله ويستبشرون بالذين لم يلحقوا بهم ويستبشرون بالذين لم يلحقوا بهم من خلفهم ألا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون 
يستبشرون بنعمة من الله وفضل وأن الله لا يضيع أجر المؤمنين الذين استجابوا لله والرسول من بعد ما أصابهم القرح للذين أحسنوا منهم واتقوا أجر عظيم الذين قال لهم الناس إن الناس قد جمعوا لكم فاخشوهم فزادهم إيمانا وقالوا حسبنا الله وقالوا حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل فانقلبوا بنعمة من الله وفضل لم يمسسهم سوء واتبعوا رضوان الله والله ذو فضل عظيم إنما ذلكم الشيطان يخوف أولياءه فلا تخافوهم وخافون إن كنتم مؤمنين صدق الله العظيم وقد أطلقت المدفعية الآن طلقة واحدة لإعلان دقيقة صمت وستنتهي دقيقة الصمت مع الطلقة الأخرى Then another shot was fired marking the end of the silence The band played the final anthem تمر عدد من الطائرات المقاتلة من سلاح الجو الملكي البحريني تعبيرا عن الوفاء لشهداء الواجب في هذه اللحظات إلى صرح الشهيد ليسقي فسيلة النخل رمز His Majesty then inspected the guard of honor يرافقه صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة 
ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله The Sharia Department Chairman at the Court of Cassation and Al-Fatih Islamic Mosque Imam Sheikh Adnan bin Abdullah Al-Qattan delivered the martyr's sermon and prayer. نرفع أكف الضراعة إلى المولى العلي القدير داعينا لشهدائنا الأبرار ماضيا وحاضرا في مملكتنا الغالية البحرين بالرحمة والمغفرة ودخول الجنان ونقول اللهم عز جارك وجل ثناؤك وتقدست أسماؤك اللهم تقبل شهدائنا الأبرار واجعلهم في أعالي الجنان اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم وعافهم واعف عنهم وأكرم نزلهم ووسع مدخلهم واغسلهم بالماء والثلج والبرد ونقهم من الذنوب والخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس اللهم آنس وحشتهم وارحم غربتهم ونور قبورهم واجعلها رياضا من رياض الجنة اللهم واجمع بينه وبين آبائهم وأمهاتهم وأهلهم وأولادهم في جنات النعيم يا سميع الدعاء اللهم آمنا في وطننا وفي خليجنا واجعل هذا البلد آمنا مطمئنا سخاء رخاء وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم وفق ولي أمرنا ملكنا حمد بن عيسى لما تحب وترضى اللهم احفظه وأدم عليه موفور الصحة والعافية والسعادة وأطل في عمره وتوله بعنايتك ورعايتك وأصلح أولاده وذريته اللهم وفق لهداك واجعل أعماله الصالحة في رضاك وهيئ له البطانة الصالحة الناصحة واجعلنا له جنودا في الحق وعونا له على الخير يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم إنا نستودعك وطننا وخليجنا وجنودنا البواسل المرابطين الذين يحاربون عدوك وعدوهم اللهم احفظهم برا وبحرا وجوا وانصرهم على الطاغين الباغين المعتدين اللهم سدد رميهم وثبت أقدامهم وأنزل سكينتك عليهم واحفظهم في كل مكان ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين نقرأ الآن سورة الفاتحة على أرواح شهدائنا الأبرار ونسأل الله تعالى أن يجعل هذه الساعة ساعة إجابة وقبول بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته His Majesty the King watered a palm tree which is a symbol of eternal life.
The ceremony was concluded with the playing of the national anthem. Marking the occasion, His Majesty made a statement in which he paid homage to the valiant fallen Bahrainis who sacrificed their lives and died honorably on the battlefield, performing their sacred duties, which is a source of pride for the kingdom and an inspiration for the coming generations. His Majesty added that the 17th of December of every year is an occasion that will always be remembered in Bahrain's national march, and it represents a source of pride in the people of Bahrain who sacrificed their lives defending righteousness and the security and sovereignty of the country. His Majesty also expressed his appreciation to the armed forces and security institutions for their efforts in protecting the country and its people. He stated that martyrs are also a source of pride for their families and their comrades for their valiant acts in protecting the kingdom. His Majesty the King paid tribute to the martyrs' families who are as brave as their beloved ones fell in the line of duty defending their homeland. His Majesty also expressed thanks and appreciation for the national stances that citizens have demonstrated in recognition of the martyrs, which reflects their unity and determination to respond to the call of duty to defend the country without hesitation. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the martyrs in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from the commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed Al Fatih in 1783. The anniversary of its full membership in the United Nations and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Highness extended his greetings to His Majesty the King, to whom he expressed his utmost loyalty, praying that His Majesty will enjoy ongoing good health and for Bahrain to enjoy further development and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the Kingdom's celebrations of the National Days in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed Al Fatah in 1783 and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The Commander in Chief extended on behalf of all of the BDF affiliates sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King on the national occasions. He wished His Majesty King Hamad abundant health, happiness, and long life as well as further progress and prosperity to the kingdom under His Majesty the King's leadership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the National Guard Commander His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the National Day celebrations of the Kingdom in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah as an Arab and Islamic state in 1783 as well as his Majesty's accession to the throne. On behalf of himself and the National Guard affiliates, the National Guard Commander congratulated His Royal Highness wishing him many happy returns as well as abundant health and prosperity. He also wished the kingdom further progress and development under the leadership of His Majesty the King. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa on the Kingdom's celebration of his national days in commemoration of the establishment of the Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmad Al Fatih in 1783 and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The Commander in Chief extended on behalf of all of the BDF personnel sincere congratulations to His Royal Highness on the national occasion. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad wished His Royal Highness abundant health and happiness and the kingdom further progress and prosperity under his majesty the king's leadership The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that Martyrs Day, which was launched by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and coincides with the celebrations of the kingdom and His Majesty's accession to the throne, is considered a national occasion that commemorates the sacrifices of the kingdom's martyrs from the BDF, the Ministry of Interior, and the National Guard. His Highness expressed pride in commemorating Bahraini martyrs on the 17th of December, the same day that marks His Majesty's accession to the throne, saying that it was a kind gesture from His Majesty the King. He added that it reflects the status of Bahraini martyrs in the kingdom and their sacrifices for the stability and security of their homeland and their brothers in the Gulf. He recalled their heroism, adding that their sacrifice will remain engraved in the history of the kingdom. His Highness valued the major role of the martyrs' families expressing pride in them and their martyrs and praying to Allah the Almighty to rest their souls in eternal peace. Under the patronage of the National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Zainal Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the ceremony commemorating Mar Martyrs Day was held at the BDF Royal Guard in the presence of the Royal Guard Special Force Commander, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا إن تنصر الله ينصركم ويثبت أقدامكم سيدي اللواء ركن سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة مستشار الأمن الوطني قائد الحرس الملكي أخواني الضباط وضباط صف الأخوة الحضور السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته خير ما نبدأ بحفلنا هذا آيات من الذكر الحكيم يتلوها على مسامعنا العريف أفضل عبد الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله أموات بل أحياء ولكن لا تشعرون ولنبلونكم بشيء من الخوف والجوع ونقص من الأموال ونقص من الأموال والأنفس والثمرات وبشر الصابرين 
صدق الله العظيم Following a recitation of verses from the Holy Quran, one shot was fired, followed by a minute of silence. Then another shot was fired, marking the end of the silence. سيدي ادعاء الارواح الشهداء مع العميد الدكتور محمد وجندل Following the final anthem the religious guide delivered the martyr's prayer بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله اللهم ارحم شهداءنا الابرار اللهم ارحم شهداءنا الابرار اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم وتجاوز عنا وعنهم وأكرم نزلهم ووسع مدخلهم اللهم اغفر لنا ولهم اللهم لا تجاوز عنا وعنهم يا رب العالمين اللهم ابدلهم دارا خيرا من دارهم وأهلا خيرا من أهلهم وزوجا خيرا من زوجهم اللهم ارفع درجاتهم في عليين اللهم اسكنهم الفردوس الأعلى يا رب العالمين اللهم اغفر لنا ولهم يا رب العالمين اللهم اسكنهم الجنان وكفر عنهم ما سبق وفات منهم ما يا رب العالمين وصل اللهم وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اجمعين His Highness Sheikh Nasser then delivered the following speech. In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, 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 the Most وفداء عن الوطن وفداء عن ولاة الأمر نستذكرهم دائما ولا نستذكرهم فقط في هذا اليوم ولكن هذه المناسبة تذكرنا دائما وأن إحنا نقدر نقوم بعمل أكثر وعمل أكبر تجاه شهدائنا الأبرار والمقصود أن إحنا نتحلى بروحهم انتحلى بشخصيتهم اللي هي فعلا مصدر للطاقة وهي فعلا معنى للتضحية القصوى خلونا يا أخواني وخواتي نحي ذكراهم نحي فعلهم بالتصرف مثلهم تكون روحنا مثل روحهم تكون روحنا مليئة بالفداء والولاء والعطاء خلونا نقص قصصهم للناس لابنائنا وبناتنا والأجيال القادمة خلونا نلهم الناس بما قاموا به أبطالنا الشهداء الأبرار عل وعسى يطلع منا واحد مثلهم أنا وياكم في هذه الخدمة الشريفة نستذكر دائما أن احنا مرينا بعض بعض في أسوأ وأحسن الحالات مرينا في الدورات العسكرية سوى ومرينا في الحياة اليومية سوى ومرينا في العمليات الحربية سوى ولكن في شيء واحد أبغيكم تسألون نفسكم السؤال هذا مهم أبيكم تسألون نفسكم كل يوم وخاصة إذا وصلت في أسوأ الحالات وفي التعب وفي الشدة اسألوا نفسكم هذا السؤال إذا ما هو بانا عيل من الله يحفظ الدار 
من شر الطغاة الحاسدين بشيوخها وضباطها وافرادها وابطالها والله طول عمر حاكمها وهو عالي جبين وتبقى دياره شامخه بالعز وهو يبقى لها شكرا Then the National Security Advisor Water Day Palm Tree, which is a symbol of eternal life. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, made a statement in which he expressed happiness over the Spanish football team Cordoba's qualification for the second round of the Copa del Rey, which coincides with Bahrain's celebration of the National Day and the Accession Day. His Highness said that the team's victory proves the unlimited support that it enjoys from the board, which is led by a Bahraini, in order to achieve its aspirations. He expressed his keenness on supporting the team in light of the presence of Bahrain is at the head of this professional field, which proves their capability to occupy such senior positions. His Highness added that Cordoba's victory is a cause for optimism for further success and affirmed full support for the team. He wished it the best of luck in the rest of its fixtures. The Royal Guard Special Force Commander, His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, underscored that Commemoration Day, which falls on December 17th annually and coincides with Bahrain's National Day celebrations and His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, is a great memory for everyone, during which Bahrain has recalled the sacrifices of hero heroes made by Bahrain's martyrs while defending their homeland and the neighboring nations. In a statement on the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid said that this day is in appreciation of those who sacrificed their lives to protect the kingdom, who became an honorable example of heroism. His Highness highlighted and commended the martyrs' participation in battlefields such as the Operation Decisive Storm and Restoring Hope in Yemen, under the leadership of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, to defend Islam, the unity of the nation, and preserve the security and stability of the region. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, headed the Bahrain delegation at the General Assembly of the Asian Olympics Council in Masqat, Oman. His Highness congratulated Saudi Arabia's government and its people for winning the country's bid to host the Asian Games 2034 for the first time in history. His Highness congratulated the Minister of Sports, His Royal Highness Prince Abdelaziz bin Turki Al Faisal, and affirmed that Saudi Arabia's win bid is well deserved thanks to the great capabilities of the kingdom. He praised Saudi's strong portfolio in the field and expressed confidence in the ability of Saudi Arabia to host one of the most successful rounds of the tournament in history. His Highness affirmed that this achievement represents a source of pride for every GCC and Arab country, which he said that will further promote sports in the Gulf, the Arab and world and Asia and will attract further events to the kingdom. His Highness expressed his sincere happiness for the important role of the Asian Olympic Committee under the leadership of Sheikh Ahmed Al Sabah as it spreads the principle of the Olympic Games. He praised the efforts of the committee in combating the challenges of the pandemic and expressed thanks and appreciation to Oman for its hospitality and its excellent organization, wishing Oman and its Olympic Committee under Khalid Al Busahidi the best of luck and further prosperity.
Expressions of happiness and joy have been displayed across the kingdom on its national day as its main street filled with celebrating citizens and residents who renewed their royalty to the kingdom and to his majesty the king on this monumentous national occasion and commemoration or commemorated the exceptional achievements in all fields in the prosperous era of his majesty the king. The Ministry of Health commended the remarkable turnout by citizens and residents in the Kingdom of Bahrain to take the anti-coronavirus vaccine nationally with the launch of the vaccination campaign across 27 health centers, which reflects the responsible awareness of everyone and their keenness to preserve the health and safety of all. The Ministry underlined the importance of registration for vaccination and affirmed that it represents a national duty that supports the medical caters. The Ministry said that preparations are ongoing across all governors and that registering for the vaccination can be done on www.healthalert.gov.bh, which will be free for any citizen or resident above the age of 18. It said that holes have been designated in health centers to carry out the vaccination process and that the condition of those who will receive the vaccination will be followed up on between the first and second doses within the first few weeks. It finally said that the precautionary rules and regulations will be available on all platforms to raise awareness of the campaign. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,561 with 200 recoveries and 156 registered new cases. 76 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 66 are contacts of active cases and 14 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.